Food trucks are getting huge in popularity. I see food trucks everywhere, but many probably don't think about how to market because there's some different strategies that you should do as opposed to a brick and mortar restaurant. So in this video, let's talk about some simple strategies that you can use to market your food truck on social media. Hey, it's Court from Cody Media. I help restaurant owners get butts in seats with digital marketing. If you like what's on this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe and like button below. That'll help this channel grow so we can get in front of more people and help more people market their restaurants. So let's talk about three ways, unique ways, you could be marketing your food truck. Number one is every time that you are uh, going to be at an event, create an event about it on your Facebook page, all right? Because what it will do is it will send out that event and you can invite people, your followers, to, to uh, be interested in that event. If you are at some other big event where you're gonna be part of it, maybe it's a concert or maybe it's um, at a, at a uh, brewery or something, if they have an event, you can add that event to your Facebook page so that people know where you are. This is gonna be all about building where you're gonna be located because people aren't always gonna know where you are week to week to week. And so that's really important. So have Facebook events where you can, people can find you easily where you're gonna be located. And the farther out in time that you can do it, the better so that people, you know, if they love Quartz Food Truck, they're gonna be wanting to know where you're gonna be in a couple of weeks, right? So you can be talking about that. Number two, at every event, I would encourage you to do a Facebook Live and take pics and post it right there on your page. So right at the beginning of the event, I know you're gonna be busy, but maybe before things really get going, you could do a Facebook Live and say, hey, we're here at uh, this brewery, we are setting up and we're getting the, the grill going and we're doing this, the pulled pork is about ready, whatever it is, and just so people can see that, it's gonna give really good things for people to check out and share and um, really build up your, your credibility and people will start to get to know you before they ever visit. Make sure you tag the place or the event that you're at. So if you're at a brewery or if you're at an event or a festival, tag that because what are they gonna do? They're probably gonna share it. And so that it will help you go viral and get in front of more people. Number three is really important, and it is all about a big piece that you should be doing is building a database. Why should you be building a database? Well, again, you're not a brick and mortar, and you're gonna be moving around. You need to help people know where you're gonna be, all right? So there's two ways that I would build a database. Number one is I would run Facebook ads um, around the area of where you're gonna be. So if you're gonna be at uh, uh, outdoor concert, let's say. Maybe you, you run ads around that um, place and you know a week before and getting people to sign up, maybe you give them some kind of offer. Maybe you give them some kind of incentive to come see you, okay? Maybe it's a, a giveaway and they have to come and they have to buy before they can uh, get enrolled in your giveaway. Whatever it is, run some Facebook ads and in those ads, capture their email and or phone number, okay? Because what you're gonna be able to do is build that database. Our, our goal is to get them off of Facebook, all right? That's the first way I would do it. Number two, I would create a QR code. And on this QR code, you can um, have it at the, at the register when people check out have them scan the QR code to join your VIP program, all right? And what you can do is say, hey, on, the, on, your, on your next visit, the next time you, you come here, uh, you'll get maybe it's a free appetizer or maybe it's some kind of offer. Not this time, the next time they visit. But what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be collecting all this email and phone numbers so that in the future, let's say every week, one, you know, every couple weeks, you can send out a blast, an email or a text blast and say, hey, we're gonna be at Quartz Brewery this week. Come see us, here's an offer to come, to come uh, try us out. And that will just build the awareness because people need to know where you are and having a database will really, really help. So make sure you're creating events and you're tagging the locations and the places where you're gonna be in those events. Go, go live, take pictures, 
tag those places so that they will share those as well and start building a database. You can use Facebook ads, you can use QR codes to get people off of social media into your database so you can let them know about where you're gonna be or different, op different things happening around town, where you're gonna be located so people can come find you. So if you have questions about how to market your food truck or your restaurant, I would love to have a quick chat with you. Um, we specialize in ROI marketing for restaurants where you know exactly what kind of return you're getting on your investment. So I'm gonna drop a link below to, to have a quick phone call. Love to have just a quick Zoom coffee, if you will, where we can get to know each other, talk about some ideas, and see if there's an opportunity for us to work together. So hope you're having a fantastic day. Get out there and promote your restaurant, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.